Anxiety and depression are two of the top mental health issues among youth. That's according to the survey by the Toronto Youth Cabinet, which provides advice to the city of Toronto. Stephen Mensa is the executive director, and he joins us live now. Stephen, thanks for joining us. So what a pivotal time to be assessing mental health among youth. I know more than 1,000 students were surveyed. What is the key takeaway? Thanks for having me, Michelle. I'd say the key takeaway is, you know, young people need support. You know, that's one thing that we really got from the survey, that young people need support and they need it urgently, as well as young people highlighted the uh, tremendous stigma that still exists in society and amongst young people themselves uh, in respect to talking about mental health. And so uh, from the survey, I think one thing that was very unique about it was that we censored solutions, and so young people were able to provide us with solutions that they believe would help and aid in decreasing the stigma in society, as well as you know, increasing support and making sure that young people are able to uh, access them when they need it. Let's talk about what that support would look like. Uh, one of the things you're calling for are mental health days for students. How would that look, and why is that important? Yeah, so, you know, students literally need time to breathe. They need time to recover. Um, this pandemic, as we know, has been very tough for young people, multiple school closures. Uh, young people have been isolated from their friends and peers and oftentimes family. And so we're calling for the government to uh, include mental or behavioral health reasons uh, as an excused absence in the Education Act. Uh, currently, there are seven ex excusable absences by law, but mental health days are not one of them. And so in respect to why it's important, and we really want to ensure that we prioritize or emphasize that prioritizing mental health is so important, as well as uh, self-care and wellness. And so mental health days will do just that, as well as what I was speaking about in respect to the stigma. Uh, we want to destigmatize the issue of mental health and uh, ensure there are more open conversations among students, parents, and their teachers, and mental health, which, uh, mental health days uh, will indeed do that as well. So this idea that mental and physical health carry much of the same weight. I, I, what, I would love to know your sense. Here we are, the two-year mark in this pandemic. Do we have any idea of the toll of all these disruptions on our youth? Uh, actually, oftentimes I think we do, but other times I think we don't. I think you know, young people are truly suffering at this moment. You know, they made that clear in the qualitative data that we received from the survey. Uh, many of them feel like the lack is such a lack of consideration for the mental health of students. Uh, and once again, it was highlighted in our survey uh, when you know, 40 percent of students said their school doesn't have a mental health worker and 79 percent of students in our survey said they struggle to access mental health supports in schools. So all of these numbers should be very alarming to us and it should tell our school boards, our you know, government and just our children's health stakeholders that we need to have more of an urgency to tackle uh, these issues uh, and we need to you know, see tremendous policy changes. And if I may just highlight two of the policy changes as well as our survey that we're going to be calling for, which uh, is mandatory mental health literacy in the curriculum as well as mandatory mental health training for all school staff. 94% of students said they are in support of mandatory mental health literacy and 98% of students said that they are in support of training for school staff so they can be able to know when a student is in need of mental health supports. Mm, to be able to recognize it. Stephen Menza, thank you so much for your insights today and sharing the results of that survey. Appreciate it. He's with the Toronto Youth Cabinet. Thanks.